Hello everyone, I am Kaza Sudilio from La Consolacion College, Manila with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management. So for today, we will discuss of Polya's four-step problem. So, what is Polya's four-step problem? George Polya created this famous four-step process for problem solving, which is used all over to aid people in problem solving. The first step is to understand the problem. Second step is devise a plan or translate. The third one is carry out a plan and solve. And for the last one is look back, check, and interpret the problem. So as you can see, this is the meaning of the Polya's four-step problem. Now, let us move on to the problem that I chose, which is problem number 10. A frog is at the bottom of 17 feet well. Each time the frog leaps, it moves 3 feet. If the frog has not reached the top of the well, then the frog slides back 1 foot before it is ready to make another leap. So, the question is, how many lips will the frog need to escape the well? So, this is the method. So, as you can see there, there is the 17 feet well and the frog. A frog is at the bottom of the 17 feet well. Each time the frog leaps, it moves up 3 feet. If the frog does not reach the top of the well, then the frog slides back 1 foot before it is ready to make another leap. So, the frog needs 8 lips to escape the well. Now, you must be asking why 8 lips? So, here's the answer. As said in the statement, the well is 17 feet and every time the frog leaps, it moves 3 feet but slides back 1 foot before another leap. So, here is the solution. The 3 to 24 number there represents the lips of the frog and the minus 1 there represents the slides back of the frog whenever it moves. So, in order for the frog to get out of the 17 feet well, it requires 8 lips. 3 minus 1, 6 minus 1, 9 minus 1, 12 minus 1, 15 minus 1, 18 minus 1, 21 minus 1, and 24 minus 1. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 20, 24. Each number, you will only minus the one slide back of the frog. So, that's all. Thank you for watching.